Well, I've been cleaning up my auction booty. I don't have any before and after pictures to show you, but you can go back to my uh, recent video, Auction Booty, and uh, see what this stuff looked like when I got it. I got a, uh, a nice mowing machine vice. It is a... I don't look at it often enough to know the name of it. There's a Magnum. And uh, very happy with that. I think I paid 125 or 150 for that. And then my dividing head was uh, 150. And that came with the, the dead center, which has been through the heaviest part of its uh, restoration. That razor blade off of there. And here's some more parts to the uh, dividing head. And there's the there's the frame. And um, it actually came with a a buck chuck. If you look above the 444, let me find my little magnifying glass. It's not like I would lie to you, but it seems kind of, uh, seems kind of odd that, here's my magnifying glass. That a company that makes chucks would, uh, Employ Okay, let's get this bear with me here. The top line which is in the second group, I really can't make out. The next line, I'm gonna get at the right angle. It says Buck Tool Company, something New York. And that's the, uh, that's the poor jaw chuck for the dividing head. Like I said, there's part of it. There's the, the main frame. Uh, we'll probably get in here and uh, get the grease out that I can and put some new grease in there. So, a couple of the bolts ready to go back in. Uh, wasn't quite happy with my cannon barrel, so I decided to, decided to let it grow a little more patina. thing is, is after the first time I let it patina, I uh, mounted it on centers and used the lathe and polished it. Well, you know, the thing looked brand new again. I want to maintain some of these colors in the, in the grooves and the cracks and crevices. Um, so, we got a guy, uh, Outlaw Edge. Kind of a bodywork kind of guy. Said some nice things about me in the comments. He's discovered my channel. And, um, go check him out. He's, uh, 
He's not your average. Uh, very. He says he's learned from me, and I, I find that hard to believe. He's very, very talented at, at what he does. Uh, Stan Seal, a new subscriber, Old Metal Machines. Um, I wrote this down, I can't even read my own writing. Wilk Bit, Built, Wilk Built, new subscriber, I think it was Wilk Built. Uh, okay. So just a little short update. I still have my uh, Cube and a Cube project in the wings. Let me find that. I'll tell you what I want to try to stand from Bar Z sent me this. And uh, basically and that's what I prepared that cube of steel there for. So that's eventually going to become that. What other projects we got going still? I'm thinking about um, approaching another YouTuber who does. Uh, he has a Pratt and Whitney lathe, much like mine, but he's he's really a woodworker. I'm gonna see if he might collaborate with me and build me a uh, build me a stand to mount that cannon to. I certainly don't have the patience to to do the wood or the equipment. He's got a table saw with power feed. It's awesome. We'll, of course, get some red paint and paint the top of these letters. If there was anybody else, they'd do black or white. What we do on the lathe? We did black on the lathe. I have black paint. Maybe we'll do black letters. Should I do red or black? I'll give you an idea of what black looks like that color. Yeah, I think black might be the way to go. Let's see if we have any black paint up here. We have almond, black, and some kind of red. Yeah, we'll go with black. Okay, we'll bring you back around when we get all this stuff put back together. So, uh, like and subscribe, tell a buddy, bring a friend, we'll...